Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. You join me here today on what's been a pretty warm afternoon for September. Unseasonably warm, some people would say. You know, 27 or 28 degrees, you know, we didn't get anything like those temperatures in August when we should have, and now we've got it in September. But uh, I guess that's global warming or uh, something similar for you. But uh, certainly not going to complain. Got on with uh, quite a few jobs, quite hot work, uh, quite hard work. Uh, but uh, also I did uh, pick a few things. Uh, the main thing being these lovely beans from the uh, bean canes behind me. Um, so yeah, they're not probably going to win any prizes, but um, certainly enjoy those. They, they look pretty good uh, to me. But um, while that's all very interesting, you know, of course I am here to talk about whiskey and what is the allotment dram today, I hear you ask. Well, we're going Irish uh, again today and we're going to talk about the Whistler. Uh, this is from their mosaic range and it's the Masala cask. So what can I tell you about this? Well, Whistler, the Whistler is a, a brand of different whiskies, so there's some single malts, uh, there's some single grains. Actually, the Mosaic range is a set of small batch single grain Irish whiskies, and uh, it comes from uh, the Boan Distillery, which is in the Boyne Valley, just near Drogheda, uh, and it's actually quite a new distillery. You know, production only started at the end of 2016, and uh, they actually took over an old uh, car showroom. So, you know, it looks, you know, these big sort of glass windows that you get in these car showrooms, you know, so it's quite, you know, spectacular as you're sort of driving along and all of a sudden you see a, uh, the stills sort of coming out of the window at you uh, as you're driving past. Um, but uh, it's named Boan, B-O-A-N-N, and it's named after uh, a Celtic goddess who is said to have lived in, the Boyne Valley and actually created the valley uh, and yeah as I said started in 2016 the production started there and it is owned by the Cooney family and they also have um, a bit of a sort of empire in Ireland where they also make craft beer cider gin and now they've started producing their own whiskey as well but um, this um, and you know much of the, the single malts um, you know, has some age statements within the range. You know, I think there's a five, there's a seven, there's a couple of tens. One of the tens is cast strength from, from memory. Um, and of course, if you think of it, you know, if they only started at the end of 2016, then it can't be their own, their own whiskey. So they've actually purchased the whiskey for this and, and, and this. Uh, under agreement from the Cooley Distillery, which is right up near the uh, border between Ireland and Northern Ireland, uh, just on the, the Republic of Ireland side. Um, so, yeah, the ones I've tried, I've tried a couple of uh, the Whistlers sort of you know, probably three or four years ago now, and also was very lucky to visit the distillery back um, before it even started production. It was in the middle of 2016 when I, I visited and you know I was very impressed even then so I'd love to go back and see how it's getting on but of course uh, while that is all very interesting um, I should really probably get on and tell you about the whiskey and have a little taste so um, let's crack this open as I say um, with the mosaic it's all small batch and single grains gone into different casks and this one is a masala cask um, uh, so let's have a look, 46% and it's masala cast uh, sourced from Sicily. So let's, let's have a little uh, smell and a taste. Look at that lovely sort of golden color there. They're quite vibrant and really sort of, I can smell it, you know, as soon as, as, soon as I open the bottle, there's like juicy, juicy sugary fruits some fresh apple there's some big juicy sultanas in there brown sugar pinch of uh, cinnamon something like that as well 
And then something, it's a bit like sort of peach compote or apricot jam just in the background there. Yeah, lovely and vibrant. And then the, you know, the color is just lovely as well. You know, quite light, but uh, you know, this vibrant sort of yellow gold. Let's have a little taste. See you, George. Take care. As you can see, George is just leaving for the day, so he sort of interrupted my sip. But um, yeah, he's not been very well recently, so it's good to good to see him up here. But uh, I think actually, before I do anything else, I need to have another taste because I've sort of forgotten what I was going to say just with him coming through. So let's have another taste. Mm. So this has, it's 46%. It's got a bit of punch to it. It's like pepperiness, but um, it's also a lot of vanilla. It's a lot of vanilla, a lot of honey, touch of golden syrup then you've got this um, sort of green apple that's a bit more like a baked apple now baked apple with some cinnamon on the top um, you yeah, know maybe with a touch of butterscotch sauce or, or something like that then you've got these big juicy sultanas you know, some hints of some raisin and a touch of just a, touch of candied orange peel or maybe just a drip of or a drop of uh, orange oil um, as well um, yeah I'm just gonna have another quick taste it's deliciously mouth coating actually it's got um, all of those all of those things sort of layered on top and then there's this thing that I mentioned on the nose is sort of like sort of cooked peaches, peach compote or a little bit, maybe it's apricot jam, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really, really quite delicious actually. So these masala casks, you know, this sort of fortified uh, desserts, like dessert wine uh, from, from Sicily. It's really given a, a sort of vibrancy and sweetness uh, and fruitiness to this so yeah lovely so I think that's probably about it for me we'll leave you to get on with whatever you were doing before you discovered this video um, thanks so much for watching from myself and the Whistler Masala cast from their mosaic range we will bid you farewell and uh, see you again for the next allotment dram I hope thank you cheers